uh, this year, we are going to uh, put more emphasis on the dApps, incubating dApps, and also trying to come up or helping facilitate to uh, our core teams or member teams to have the uh, business models, which is the uh, tokenomics. When I mean tokenomics, I what we mean, I, I, I hear people talking about DeFi, you know, why don't you market in DeFi? First of all, it's not that I don't marketing because we are not really building our own DeFi. We encourage our partners to port their DeFi to our Ethereum settings. Or maybe we may build more uh, settings to uh, incubate more crypto products. But that's not the uh, real focus. The real focus for us right, for, uh, for the core team, is real economy. Like uh, the, um, can we uh, help the uh, underprivileged? They don't have a credit card. Can they borrow money, right? In the real world, borrow fiat. How do we use blockchain technology and with the, uh, our security uh, uh, guarantees and DID, um, vouch, right, to help the authorities and to help the uh, underprivileged. And is that the, uh, the, in my opinion, that's, I would call DeFi. Real world decentralized financing instead of crypto DeFi. It's like a dApps, right? There's a crypto dApp, the, uh, dApp, but then we put more emphasis on the real web dApp. We need both but we are strong on the real world side and we borrow, we leverage the crypto side. The other one is that, uh, you see, I was with Foscon. Uh, if you see Foscon, if you see Amazon, Alibaba, when they do business, let's say if I buy something through Alibaba or Amazon, I pay $100, who get the money? Amazon get the money or Alibaba get the money, right? And then when are they going to pay the, um, the shops? For the supply chain, for the shops, there's a delay. And for supply chain in Asia, that's a six months in average. In Europe, that's a three weeks delay paying, okay? And for a half year delay, can you borrow money? with the uh, credentials from the bank, right? To uh, put the money back into production. And also when I'm buying something on an e-business, and uh, right now I pay Amazon. Amazon pay uh, the shops. But let's say if I pay $100 with the smart contracts, I should pay the commission to Amazon, then pay the uh, e-shops directly. So $100 will divide it into several segments. Some of them paying the uh, gas fees of uh, the smart web, the, the miners. Some of them paying the, uh, the e-business. E Some of them paying the, uh, the channel, right? The Amazon. And if that's the case, and people think, oh, isn't that obvious? I don't know people uh, uh, count on that. Um, in China, at least, when, when I say, you know, there's a delay, then there's a middleman cut, which is very substantial. And then like supply chain, they have a, um, if I supply a battery to Foxconn, if I supply a screen to Foxconn, right? To make a iPhone. Before the iPhone, before the phone is sold, there's a 17% value added tax every step of the way. The product haven't been sold on the market yet. Every vendor, not only they have a six month delay for the payment, they also incur 17% tax right away. That's a lot of money. If we can, you know, after all, when the phone, when the Android phone is sold on the market, as soon as the, uh, the consumer purchased the phone, all the proceeds will automatically go into the, uh, the correct parties. That's a huge amount of money to be saved. 
a completely new way of doing the real world business, given this decentralized uh, technology. That's what I see. That's what I'm excited about. That's where I see the core teams could help those uh, partners to set up eBiz, decentralize the eBiz, decentralize the YouTube, decentralize the Twitter, right? If they could make money, then our core teams can make money. If we can build a new internet, real new internet instead of a blockchain new internet, I'm very confident that we can get uh, traditional VCs to sign up, to line up, because there's so much money to be made.